Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now we could go to the Temple of Time now, but there is one... I'm gonna say one last thing, and I'm gonna be completely wrong about that, probably. But there's just a few more things I want to take care of, since we can still do them, and I've actually remembered them. So let's head over in this direction, to the area we haven't actually explored yet. Because there are two area exits on the map down in this direction. There's one down south which leads to Lake Hylia, which we've already seen. Also, the, the running man with the bunny hood just runs super fast, which is hilarious, so. But there's also this one over here to the left that we can also do. Take a look at. So let's do that. Because it's going to be well worth our time. This place is very different from the rest of the field, so... It's a very abrupt change in scenery. I don't think there's anything up in this area that we can do at the moment. As well, maybe? I might be wrong? I might be wrong. Hang on, what happens if I blow up this over here? In the middle of these rocks. There's a secret hole. Oh. This is interesting. I don't know if this is actually... Oh, this is actually something. Okay, let's use Din's fire then. Oh, don't touch the thing. Don't touch the thing in the middle. I wasn't trying to exit, please. Thank you. Okay, there's a cow down here, but there's also a Skulltula up here that we can get. So let's go ahead and grab that, since we're still here. Also, it's amazing to me that we can actually get 40 Skulltulas at this point in time. Basically, 40 Skulltulas? Maybe 40 Skulltulas. I'm going to have to double check that in a minute. But anyway, there's that one. A cow, but we're going to get out of here, so... Also, if you use Din's Fire on a Gossip Stone, it will actually just spin. Which I didn't point out, but anyway. Well, I did point out, but I didn't, didn't actually look at it. Also, is this barbed wire fence? Because I don't think climbing over it is going to be a good idea. Gerudo Valley is this way. Well, let's take a look at what we can actually do over this way. Since there isn't a ton, but there is a few important things that we can grab. Well, there's a Sculptor there. Actually, we might get a, be able to get 41 Sculptors. Oh, it's gone! Ah! Because it's turned to daytime. Well, let's change it to night then. Please, thank you. Okay, so we need the boomerang for this. Also, the music here is great, but we're not going to be able to hear it because it's just turned to nighttime. Unfortunate timing. I might just turn it to daytime again, though, just so we can hear the music. Go. Hang on, can I... I'm pretty sure once you've killed a Gold Skulltor, the Gold Skulltor token won't disappear. Unless you just leave. So, well, let's grab that. Very nice. And now we can actually hear the good music. Maybe. If it will actually play. But anyway, this is a bridge here that we can cross, kind of. Because we can get over here. But we can't go any further. The Gerudo's Fortress is located beyond this gate. A kid like you has no business there. So we can't get any further. I don't know if... The Gerudo Mask allows us to get past. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But I... I've never checked before, but anyway. Uh, hang on. I also wanna... No diving loud. It won't do you any good. Well, we'll see about that. Also, Cuckoo, please don't run away from me. I need you. Okay, because let's jump over here with the Cuckoo. 
over to this little platform over here with a box. And now, if I can be extra careful, I want to drop you, roll into this box, and probably grab you again. Because there's a piece of heart here. Oh my goodness, I just dropped it again. So let's grab that piece of heart. Grab, grab, grab. Okay, good. If you can manage to grab it, that's good. Otherwise, you have to go down the river, which will take you to... What's it called? Lake Hylia. But anyway, we actually want to take this cuckoo down here because there's some soft soil down here that we can actually take a look at. So let's do that. Also this cow. But anyway, let's roll into this box maybe? No, never mind. Why did you come all the way down here? What? You were just about to ask me the same thing? Well now that you're down here, you may as well make the best of things. Yes, I will. So let's get out some beans and some bugs. And do all of that with this soft soil here. Just like that. I think there's probably a gold scuttle in there. Yeah. Cool. And that should make 41. I'm pretty sure. So let's grab that. And now, one last thing that we need to do before we leave this area. Also, I love this Gerudo Canyon thing. Whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it's Gerudo Canyon. But anyway, we want to actually jump off here. Going behind the waterfall, which you can probably just swim past. But there's a ladder here. And if we go up this ladder, it's going to be quite amazing for us. Because, all the way up here, is another piece of heart. So, we're doing extremely well on that right now, so... But anyway, let's head back downstream, I guess. I don't think there's anything else for us to actually do, so we can actually go back to Castle Town now. If I'm not mistaken. It might take me a little bit more time to actually just get back to Castle Town, though. Although, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the owl should take me to where I want to go. <coughs> so that could be good. Actually, yes, there's another gold skulltula right there. Oh my goodness. So many gold skulltulas, so little time. Let's grab this. Very nice. How many is that? 42? Yes, wow. Also, I did realize something else I could do. But I'm definitely going to wait until much later. I don't know. It's going to be a little bit before I'm comfortable with doing that, so... Anyway. What are you doing? You've come a long way to get up here. Or down here? You should uh, look at the map subscreen sometimes. Link, this is a beautiful lake full of pure, clear water. At the lake bottom, there is a water temple used to worship the water spirits. The Zoras are guardians of the temple. Hoo hoo. Zoras come from Zora's domain in north northeast Tyrol. An aquatic race, they are longtime allies of Hyrule's royal family. I heard that only the royal family of Hyrule can enter Zora's domain. Hoo hoo. I'm on my way back to the castle. If you want to come with me, hold on to my talons. Actually, I kind of want to go check one other. I'm just going to be doing extra things for the rest of my life at this point. Because I'm pretty sure, if I'm not wrong, I might be wrong, and I might need to come back to this. But I think if I go 
over here at night, there's another gold skulltler all the way out here. And I need to kill that before it becomes daytime because it, then it's going to disappear otherwise. But oh my goodness. Just, oh my goodness. 43. I think the owl's probably left by now. But I can still make him reappear by leaving the area and coming back. Which should be easy enough, hopefully. Hopefully. Unless he's just going to be there again. It's not looking too good for me, though. Nope, he's not back. But luckily, what he's standing on top of is actually another area. Kind of. It's a little... grave, so we can pull that out of the way. And that allows us to go into the hole. Into the grotto. Which has some deco salesmen to sell some basic items, I'm sure. But, now he's respawned, so... Let's head back to the castle. Please. Thank you. Some of the shortcuts in this game are actually really well designed. It's kind of crazy. But there we go. Now let's go to the Temple of Time. Which is... right up this way. And while I'm here, I think I should check something, because I'm pretty sure if you find a Gossip Stone and play Zelda's Lullaby... If I'm not mistaken... It spawns in fairies for you. It might just be those ones, or it might be all of them, but I just wanted to show that. The Temple of Time. There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription reads. Hang on. Wrong button. No, hang on. No, hang on. I've forgotten the Song of Time. This is probably my favorite moment of the game, having all three spiritual stones here. But there we go. Let's head on in. Link, isn't that...
It's that legendary blade. The Master Sword. Press A to grab. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Link. Wake up. Link, the chosen one. I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situ situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time was the final key to the sacred realm. Link, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Look, Link. <laughs> Look, Link, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you are too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to waken as the hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yes, I do. But remember, though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter his, this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of, of Light, and with its power, he became king of evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm, namely this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Raru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own.
You received the Light Medallion. Raru the Sage adds his power to yours. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Back in the Temple of Time. Link, we're back in the Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples, one in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the Awakened Ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe in the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for you. The time is of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Because of the evil power in the, in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand, Link? Yes, I do. Also, this area here is kind of a mirror of the Temple of Sages, or the whatever, whatever, whatever it was called. Which is really cool, with all of the markings on the ground here. Which we may recognize, I th think it's that one, probably. Since we got a medallion that looks like it. Over on this screen, on this quest status. So we can see the light medallion here now. But anyway, we're still in Hyrule. But now we can't, hang on. But now... We can't use our Kokiri Sword or Deku Shield. The Goron's Bracelet doesn't matter anymore because we're a, a, an adult, so that doesn't matter. The Bullet Bag is greyed out now as well because we can't use the Fairy Slingshot anymore. Or the Boomerang, which is really cool, a really cool item that we just got we can't use anymore. Deku Sticks are completely just... Nope, we can't use those anymore. All the Magic Beans. Also, the whatever mask we have. But there we go, everything else is basically the same now, except that also now we have the Master Sword, which is about as strong as Deku Sticks, I'm pretty sure. Which is good, because we needed those for doing high amounts of damage. And the Highland Shield now works like the Deku Shield did back when we were a child, Link. There we go. Let's head out and see what we can see out in the rest of the world. Also, I love the way that the Chamber of Sages looks. Also, this platform here has the Light Medallion marked on it. 
Just the change in atmosphere is amazing. It's my favorite part of the game. Also, Death Mountain's smoke ring looks crazy now. And also, like, fire? Question mark? I don't know. But everything here looks pretty dead. And speaking of things looking dead, the town is now full of re-deads. And if we head up to Hyrule Castle... It's now Ganon's Castle. Gonna leave that for now though. It's currently on a floating island above a lava pit. So things have definitely changed in the past seven years. Remember you can use a song of uh no the sun song to freeze all of the redeads if you want to. They do have a drop magic fairly often, so if you need that you can do that. And the drawbridge is also broken now. So you don't have to worry about what time of day it is to get back that way. But I don't think we're going to be heading back that way for a while. Also, monsters are no longer in Hyrule Field at all now. So... Is that... That makes Hyrule Field better, I guess, than it was as a kid. Which doesn't really make a ton of sense. Doesn't really make a ton of sense to me. But, I guess there are a few other things that you could run into. But anyway, let's go check out Kakariku Village, now that seven years have passed. And Skulltalas in the past and future are actually, some of them are in different positions. And will only appear in the, the child link part or the adult link part. This tree looks a lot bigger than it used to be. And also, that building there is complete now, whereas in the past it was just being built. Things have certainly changed. Might need to change the time of day to actually see what else is different. But anyway, since we have 40 sculptors, we can actually get another reward here. So the curse has been broken! Thank you! Here's a reward for you. Let's get that, and we get some bomb chew. Guess that's not the best reward I could have hoped for, but that, that's okay. I'm sure it won't be too long until we get some more good stuff. Let me change the time of day. Oh my goodness. Also, the bazaar and the potion shop have moved to Kakariko and are in the buildings uh, next to the... Hang on, let me, just, let me just look at it. The building's up there. Also, some of the residents from Castle Town have actually moved here, as well. All the carpenters, I believe, though, have actually gone elsewhere as well. Since they're done building everything that they need to build here. This is the potion shop, and this is the bazaar. I don't think they're much different to what they were. Yeah, they're about the same. Just with different NPCs inside of the buildings, I guess, since Things have changed over the past seven years. I, I wouldn't expect people to be still in these shops for over the past seven years. But anyway, we can also go back through here. And end up back in this area here. Which is interesting. But this also allows us to go into this building back here that we never went into. Also, the lovers are behind the windmill are back there. I didn't know that, actually. But this is uh, an extra potion shop that we can't really do anything in. I heard that the Lost Woods, where fairies live, is a strange place with a, with many mysterious smells. I wish I could just once make medicine with some of the strange things I might find there. I may not be able to see very well anymore, but my nose still works fine. Hehehe. <laughs> this is a pretty cool place though with the pots of 
potion with particles coming out. And the smoke and all that. But anyway. Let's go elsewhere. Because I want to head up this way. Also, I believe if we talk to Andrew now, who, who no longer has chickens. I breed, bred a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy. Late risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? It makes them very happy to crow. Cuckoo! Especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You, you might, uh, you look like you are good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check it, check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Yes, I will. So we get the, we borrowed the a pocket egg. A pocket cuckoo will hatch from it overnight. Be sure to give it back when you are done with it. So there we go. I guess I'll just have that on hand so we can keep an eye on that. Uh, but let's head to the windmill now. Still question mark. But this guy over here is looking... A bit angrier than he was seven years ago. Just a little bit. Grrr. I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Grrr. It's all that Ocarina's kid, Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. Let's get out our Ocarina. What? You've got an Ocarina. What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up with, uh, messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. You've learned the Song of Storms. And now it's raining indoors. Also, the windmill's slightly faster now. I'm just spinning like crazy. But anyway, let's leave. And let's head to the graveyard. Also, I think we travel faster as an adult since things are smaller. And we're bigger, I guess. Technically. But anyway, there are some enemies in here that we haven't really seen, but we could have seen if we moved some of the graves as a kid. These are Poe's. If you stare at it with Z targeting, it will disappear. That it will. It will also attack us with its lantern like that. Ow. We need it to be visible to actually attack it. Just like that. Whenever it dies, we can actually talk to its spirit that's on the ground here. By walking into it. You defeated Poe, the ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? No, I don't. Because I believe if you drink it, it'll actually hurt you. Or only recover like a tiny bit of health. But anyway, now that we're here, we can also use this bean plant that we grew. Because the bean plants actually grow up and actually make platforms that fly when we stand on them. Which allows us to get this piece of heart up here. The kid, however, from the past is actually gone now, so we don't get to see him again, I don't think. Uh, but also, I'm not sure if I can actually check this or not. Can I check this grave? No, I can't. But this grave is new. So, if we open this up. And head on in. This is also called question mark, but this 
is Dante's grave. Hey, 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 young man, are you fast on your feet? I made it look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. So, let's follow Dompe's ghost. We need to be as quick as possible, which is a little bit difficult since he throws fire at us, which will knock us down if we touch it and make us take longer. But as you can see, we're being timed, which means we need to be very fast because otherwise, if we ask too slow, when the time comes, because he get when he goes through a door, he'll close within a couple of seconds, so we need to be fairly quick, but it's fairly forgiving, but if you get hit by the fire, it's not good for you, especially if you're trying to be fast. But anyway, if you go the wrong way, you'll get, you'll reach a dead end pretty fast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, stop trying to burn me. Also, I think there are a couple of re-deads in here from the sounds of it. Now, I think you can go either left, uh, up or left here, which is good. But we're getting close to the end here, which is very nice. Just need to head up here. And now I didn't do a terribly good job because it's past a minute and you want to get in here with with less in a min in a minute or less. But anyway, let's speak to Dompe. The time of this race was one minute three seconds. Hehe, <laughs> young man, you are very quick to be able to keep up with me, hehe. <laughs> As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hookshot. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where it, where, where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime and I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. Hehehe. <laughs> So I think we actually need to come back a second time to get his second reward off by doing it in a minute or less. Probably less than a minute. But I'm sure it will give it to me if I get it on a minute. Flat, so. But anyway, we get the hook shot. It's a spring-loaded chain that you can uh, cast out to hook things. You can use it to drag distant items toward you, or you can use it to pull yourself towards something. While holding C, you can aim with the uh, left stick to shoot it by releasing C. So this is basically a replacement for the boomerang, since we can't actually use the boomerang anymore. We can use the hookshot to pull uh, gold sculptor tokens to us. Anyway, there's also these blocks here. Hey, isn't that the same design that's on the door of time? These are blocks of time. So, if we play... The Song of Time. In front of these blocks. They actually just disappear for us. Which actually means that they teleport to somewhere else and we can actually... Not interact with them, I guess, but if we played it again for the blocks, if we're close enough... They'll move back to where they were. But this actually connects up to the windmill. This is how you're supposed to get that piece of heart. Which, if you have the hookshot, allows you to actually... Hang on. You can grapple anything... Hookshot anything that's wood, except for if it's moving, like this. Or if it's fake wood. Like, I'm sure some of these beams are fake wood. Uh, but the floor over there, where the piece of heart is actually... Actual wood, so you can actually grab... So you can actually hookshot to it. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.